Welcome to the Throw Forward Thursday studio. Come with me to the future. Well, maybe not quite the future. Come with me just to the beginning of next year. Because we're in the middle of a holiday mini-series in which I'm helping you to learn how to look at the future, to watch the future for yourself, and to develop the capabilities in yourself and your team to be able to imagine the future. And today I want to talk about ridiculous ideas. Professor Jim Data is the head of the Future Studies Department at the University of Hawaii. He's one of the world's leading futurists, and he trains other people to become futurists. Uh, and there are lots of universities uh, that do this in my home country. Stellenbosch University has an institute, uh, Futures Institute, uh, which is world class. Uh, so these are not people who sit and look in crystal balls. These are people who understand scenario planning and understand strategy uh, and are hugely valuable in different industries around the world. Anyway, Professor Jim Data is one of the leading um, academics and researchers in the future space. And his second law of futures says that we need to entertain ridiculous ideas. Specifically, it says that any useful idea about the future needs to appear ridiculous. Uh, now, what he means by that is if we when we're trying to think about the future, when we're trying to think about what's going to happen next, if we just think of it as a slight improvement on our current reality, we're not really stretching ourselves and we're not really opening up strategic horizons and looking for threats and opportunities. We're just imagining our current world, but slightly different. When we're looking at the future, what is really valuable is if we actually push ourselves to something that may appear ridiculous. And that's a lot of what we do here in the Throw Forward Thursday studio. Many of the examples that we choose are examples that will stretch you, where you think, good grief, uh, maybe your initial reaction is, that's amazing or that's alarming. Um, but we certainly want you to think that that might be a little bit ridiculous. If I can go back to Jim Data's uh, thoughts, every useful idea about the future needs to stretch us, needs to appear ridiculous at first. Those two extra words are important because you need to think about, well, that's crazy. Uh, one of my favorite examples was something we did many weeks ago in which we talked about the fact uh, that we think we know what the billionaire space cowboys are doing. You know, Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos and uh, Richard Branson and, and, and the others. It's not that they, yes, maybe they're trying to get to Mars. Uh, that's Elon Musk. Yes, maybe they're trying to build a, a big space station, a private space station in space. That's Jeff Bezos. Yes, yes, yes. Um, but beyond that, the real commercial venture is being able to get somebody from New York to London in 25 minutes, to get somebody from London to Sydney, Australia in 37 minutes. Uh, in other words, to get point to point on the planet anywhere uh, in less than an hour. Because that's what you can do. Going at 24,000 kilometers an hour, you throw a rocket up in space, you, 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 you push it to a different place, you bring it down to Earth again. And you think that's ridiculous. If I just said to you, we can get from any place to any other place uh, in the world in less than an hour, you would say that's ridiculous, except all of the technology required to do that already exists. When you look into it, it's not quite as ridiculous as you thought. So what you need to be doing with your team is you need to be sitting down and saying, right, if we think about the future of our industry, if we think about the future of the products and services we sell to our clients, if we think about who our future clients might be, if we think about who we need to hire in order to do things for our future clients, how do we push our thinking to a ridiculous edge? How do we push our thinking beyond what is currently possible or, or, or practical 
and find the ridiculous nature. This might be changing the timeline. Um, you know, you, you might say, well, it, it takes three weeks to build our product uh, and get our product to us. Well, what happens if you could reduce that? Now, some people say, well, if we could reduce it from three weeks down to two weeks, that'd be amazing. But that's exactly the type of thinking I'm saying you shouldn't have. That's just slightly improving what you can already do. What happens if you say to somebody, well, instead of having to wait three weeks, you, you can get it in three minutes. And he said, well, that's ridiculous. It's impossible to speed up that much. Except then if I force you to do that, where does your thinking go? What happens is you stop thinking about how you can use your current system and improve your current system and get it more efficient and more productive and cheaper and faster. You say, well, we've got to start from scratch then. We've got to completely redo all of our systems and processes. And when you do that, you have the potential to discover and unlock the future. Something dramatically, disruptively different that might change everything. Changing the rules, the norms, the standards, the best practices, the industry structures is what you're trying to do when you come up with a ridiculous idea. So it could be timing, it could be pricing, um, you know, it, it could be levels of service, it could be the number of people that have to be involved, etc., uh, etc. Et Just push yourself to look for ridiculous ideas. And every week when you come back to the Throw Forward Thursday studio, we will give you an idea that might be ridiculous. It might be ridiculous in somebody else's industry. It might be ridiculous in yours. But what we're trying to do is unlock your imagination to not be scared to at least start with ridiculous ideas. So Professor Jim Data says, every useful idea about the future needs to appear ridiculous. I added, at first. And then Professor Data adds, and just by the way, not every ridiculous idea is useful. That's obvious, but it probably should be said. Uh, we're not saying that you have to have a hundred ridiculous ideas and then try all of them. No, some ridiculous ideas can just be abandoned because they are seriously ridiculous and they're not useful. But what they are there for is to spark your imagination, to force you to rethink your approach. And in doing that, to maybe unlock the creative, innovative idea that gives you a competitive advantage into the future. Ridiculous ideas. It's not that ridiculous. Thanks as always for joining us in the Throw Forward Thursday studio. I hope you're enjoying this mini holiday uh, series or this holiday mini series uh, more, more correctly. And uh, make sure you come back next week when we're going to talk about future backwards thinking. How to jump in the future and look back at ourselves today. I'll see you next week in the Throw Forward Thursday studio.